floating and sinking process in a case of floating and sinking see carefully what we are going to see actually whenever we are having a substance which is having density more as compared to this density of water or density of liquid if this substance is having more density as compared to density of liquid then that substance will sink in the liquid see the definition here when an object is placed over a liquid whose density is less than density of object means this density of liquid is less this density of liquid is less as compared to the object which are we are going to immerse into it so this object is having more density more density means it is the object is going to sink in the liquid this is a uh, sinking process fine next we are having flotation process in the flotation process if we are immersing the object into the water which is less denser than this water if this footwear is having less density as compared to water here water is having more density water is having more density means water is more denser than this footwear so this footwear is going to float into the water what does it mean see carefully with definition when an object is placed over the liquid whose density is more than density of object means this liquid is having more density as compared to this object in this object density is less then that object will float in that liquid less is the density flotation will be there more is the density of substance sinking process will be there fine so next we are having principle of flotation which is very important from exam point of view what is the principle of flotation see carefully according to principle of flotation a solid will sink in a liquid when a solid will sink in a liquid now might be you will give the answer the solid will sink in a liquid if that solid is having more density as compared to liquid okay but a solid will float on a liquid why the solid going to float on a liquid because if the solid is having less density as compared to density of liquid then that solid will float in a liquid fine so in terms of relative density if we talk then in terms of relative density a solid will float on a liquid if its relative density of substance is less than relative density of water if i am comparing relative density of substance and relative density of water if the relative density of substance is less as compared to relative density of water then that substance will float in water or float in liquid but if the relative density of solid is more as compared to relative density of liquid then that substance will sink or move down side to the liquid next we are having applications of flotation in the principle of flotation we have learned that object will sink if it is having more density and object will float if it is having less density as compared to liquid now with the same principle we are going to see some applications of flotation that where these flotation we are going to see in our daily life so first application we are having here the density of ice is less than density of water so actually density of water is at 4 degree celsius that is 1000 kilogram per meter cube or you can say 1 gram per centimeter cube but the density of this ice berg the density of this large mass of ice it is less as compared to water why because you can see here the mass or the volume of this iceberg is too much high if volume is too much high we know the formula density is equals to mass by volume if volume is more means density is less so as compared to water this iceberg is having less density if iceberg is having less density means that object will float in a water that is why this iceberg is floating on a water next we are having second application for the same flotation density of iron is more density of iron as compared to water is more density of iron is actually iron density is 7800 kg per meter cube these values you have to remember okay and density of water at 4 degree celsius is density of water at 4 degree celsius is 1000 kg per meter cube so here you can check carefully that density of Uh, iron is more as compared to density of water if density of iron is more then obviously it is going to sink in a liquid okay but why these kind of submarines or iron ships are going to float in a liquid why these iron ships are going to float in a liquid see carefully actually these iron ships are hollow from inside the iron ship is having more volume if it is having more volume volume is more means density is less 
say it is a hollow from inside means volume of the iron ship is more volume of iron ship is more means density is less so if density is less then this iron ship is going to float on a water fine next application related to flotation we are having submarine may float or sink on sea water actually this submarine is a water craft which can move in water also and on water also Me means it can move inside water also plus it, it can move on the surface of water also actually in submarine one water tank is there here in submarine one water tank is there and which is called blast tank this water tank is known as blast tank when water tank or the blast tank is filled with water when this water tank or blast tank is filled with water the average density of the submarine increases when average density increases density increases then water means it is going to sink into the water or move in the water but when the water from this blast moves out from the tank then average density of the submarine decreases when average density decreases means one beyond force is there one upward force is there which acts on a submarine and that's why submarine start coming out from the water and it start moving on the surface of the water so by this way submarine may float or sink in the sea water so submarine increase or decrease its effective density actually in class 8 you have to remember like this also only that submarine can increase or decrease its effective density how it increase or dec decrease its effective density with the help of blast tank so here is a spelling for blast tank you can write b a l l a s t this is a blast tank so with this blast tank it can increase or decrease its effective density next application of flotation we are having a fish has a bladder in her body actually in fishes also one kind of bladder is there what they are doing whenever they are sucking the air from the water into these bladders whenever air is going to move inside their bladder means volume of the like uh, bladder you can say volume of the bladder is going to increase for example bladder is this much whenever they are going to fill it with the air bladder volume is going to increase and as we know density is equals to mass by volume if they are going to move in if the air is going to move inside the like a uh, bladder of the fish means volume of the bladder is increases volume increases means density is going to decrease if density decreases in that case fish can float on sea water but if i am saying the other side that why fish are going to sink in a sea water sinking means whenever whatever air is filled in her bladder that air it push out to move in the water when the air moves out means volume is going to reduce if volume reduces we know density is equals to mass by volume if volume reduces means density is going to increase so whenever density increase it can easily sink in a sea water so it is all depend upon the bladder whenever it is going to fill it with the air the volume increases density decreases and whenever it is going to empty it from the air means here volume decreases and density increases so like this way fish can easily float or sink in a water so when it forces the air out when the fish is going to force the air out from the bladder its average density is going to more and it can sink in a water why it is more as i already told if vol if air is going to move outside volume is going to reduce volume reduce means density is going to more if density is more of an object as compared to water it will sink in a water next application of flotation we are having in inverter batteries might be these kind of inverter batteries you have seen in your house so in these inverter battery acid battery hydrometer is used why acid battery hydrometer this is kind of hydrometer is used in order to check the density of acid solution that how much denser this acid solution is there in order to check that solution we are using a instrument called hydrometer hydrometer also work on the principle of flotation okay it can sink when it is having more density as compared to liquid and it is going to float when it is having less density as compared to liquid next application we are having lactometer so lactometer is also a kind of instrument which is used to measure the purity of milk it also works on the principle of flotation of density it is if it is having more density or if it is having more density it is going to Uh, float uh, sink in a liquid and it, if it is having less density it is going to float in a liquid so the purity of milk or how it is denser or it is less denser in order to check that we are using the instrument called lactometer 
नेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फ्लोटेशन वी आर हैविंग एज द डेंसिटी ऑफ बलून फिल्ड विद हाइड्रोजन गैस एज बी नो हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम गैस इज हैविंग वेरी मच लेस मास इफ लेस मास इज देयर एज यू नो डेंसिटी इज इक्वल्स टू मास बाय वॉल्यूम मास ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम इज लेस इफ मास इज लेस मीन्स डेंसिटी इज लेस सो इफ डेंसिटी इज लेस दे कैन ईजिली फ्लोट इन अ एयर बिकॉज एयर इज हैविंग मोर डेंसिटी एज कम्पेयर टू हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम सो वेन एवर इट इज हैविंग लेस डेंसिटी एज कम्पेयर टू एयर सो इट मे ईजिली राइज अप and it will easily float in a air